So basically, last night they found dead on the tra train track. So we're talking about Fatima's son. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they found him on the train tracks dead. Mm -hmm. What happened? But that is her biological son, or just her street son. Her street son. Okay, so that's another street but son. It really. He really calls her uh, his old lady that's why. So wait, so he, he calls her his old lady? Meaning like his girlfriend, his woman? Okay, okay. So but when she come out, she tell people that's her son, so everybody won't actually know that her boyfriend. What's up, YouTube? Back in the lab with KD for the summertime. And this time I got my hitters with. If you want to get this work, hit up at KD with the muscle on Instagram. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with the update. So, Chris, what did I just walk into, man? What, what just happened? So, basically, on June the 7th of last night, they said they found my brother, man, man. You say track. June the seventh, um, brother? It's July. <laughs> so basically, last night they found him dead on the tra train track. So we're talking about Fatima's son. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they found him on the train tracks dead. Mm -hmm. What happened? Everybody keeps saying they believe that somebody pushed him, or he was running from somebody that he probably got into a fight with or they tried to rob him so they pushed him on the train track. So they don't even know which train tracks they pushed him on. And, and how old How old is Fatima's son? I think she just said he's 27, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. So I mean, he's about six years older than you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are your thoughts on this happening? First of all, how do you feel? Cause I mean, Fatima does actually love you kind of like a mom or like a, you know, a close family member. So man, man, that is like your brother. And he had a daughter. So he got a, he left a little daughter behind. Right, so how does that make you feel, man? That his daughter ain't gonna get to grow up without him. Okay, okay. I mean, do you feel any sadness due to him passing away? You can't express that? Why not? Because we were just hanging out with him before all this happened. So it's like still kind of in shock a little bit? Mm-hmm. Okay, you ain't gonna be there when my birthday comes. When your birthday comes? When is your birthday, Chris? December. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Christmas. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I keep on forgetting your Christmas baby. <laughs> Okay, man. Okay. Cause the last birthday he was at with me, with my birthday, I had a good time. But this birthday, that coming up, probably ain't gonna be that good. Mm. Cause he the one that basically got me all the gifts I wanted and stuff. So that was your boy. Okay. So let's talk about you. Because similar to him, you're out here. You play around in these streets a lot. You do a lot of things that could potentially get you into a similar situation that he was in. Okay? Does that scare you at all? Because, I mean, I would hate to get a phone call that something happened to you, man. Because he did tell me and the team that if she ever left him, she, he was going to kill himself. That's probably the whole reason why he, he probably went out on an outrage. Why? Because she left him? No, nah, because when she thought Antonio was coming to the hotel, she told him he couldn't come. So that basically what upset him. So wait, so he wanted to come to the hotel? Yeah, and she told him Antonio might be coming. And so why can't, who is Antonio? The one that's still at the hotel sleep. Right, but who is he to Fatima? Her so-called boyfriend. Okay, so that's her so-called boyfriend, and so um, why wouldn't do they not get along or whatever? Mm -hmm. 
sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. Because why wouldn't she allow him to come to the hotel if Antonio was gonna be there? Because she'd be switching from dude to dude. Speak up, man. She'd be switching from dude to dude. Well, but what does that have to do with her son? She told me on the way here, you he really don't call her mom. But that is her biological son or just her street son? Her street son. Okay, so that's another street but son. It really, he really calls her uh, his old lady that's why. So wait, so he, he calls her his old lady? Meaning like his girlfriend, his woman? Okay, okay. So but when she come out, she tell people that's her son, so everybody won't actually know that her boyfriend. Okay, okay, okay. So that was her little young mm -hmm. tenderoni, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm getting a little more clarity on what's going on. <laughs> okay, so that was her young tenderoni. He wanted to come to the hotel last night, but she had her old head boyfriend. Antonio's, I guess, a little bit older. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she had her old boyfriend there, mm -hmm. so he couldn't come, and I guess he was frustrated, mm -hmm. and that's possibly what led to this. Mm -hmm. And he got, probably got to fighting out here with somebody, and they he, they chased him somewhere and pushed him on the train track. Wow! So that's what that's what possibly happened, huh? Well, that's a whole different scenario than what was initially painted. <laughs> Why didn't she want anybody to know that her and Man Man were actually lovers instead of just mother and son? Because all in here would have broke loose. Why you Why you say that? Cause there's other niggas out here that she like. So Fatima getting to it like that? Yeah. She got all the guys out here like that? Yeah, cause she keep wearing them little short, short, cut short. <laughs> yeah, she got on right now. Oh, them so, Michael Jordan shorts she got on. So she be trying to catch them basically? Yeah. <laughs> Are you attracted to her? No. <laughs> I just tell people to take a picture, it might last longer. You tell people to take a picture, might last longer. <laughs> it's true, it will last longer if you just take a picture. Okay. But she was really distraught about um him about, being on yeah, the train yeah, track. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean still ain't figure out which train track he on. She think it's the martyr train track, but I But have they confirmed that it actually happened? They said it's somewhere over here, but not in actually in downtown it's like where there's a bunch of trees where you barely can see the train track i guess i told, right. I told her the only train track they could be talking about is the one where the big train come on not the martyr train track okay okay so we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see so it's not confirmed yet because she was crying like it was a hundred percent confirmed when we got to the boardwalk, that's when she started crying when uh, a friend of his told her that they found him dead on the train track. And it was true. At first we thought it wasn't, but once we heard it come out of her mouth, that's when she broke down. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So if that is the situation, right, if that did happen, like I say, similar to him, you kind of be running around out here too. And so, does any of this give you any incentive to want to go to rehab? You want to make me stay off the street and stay at home? So do you think you'll be able to do that? As long as I'm around, huh? And how are you gonna get your crack or whatever? Or are you gonna stop smoking? She said when my birthday comes, that's, that's gonna be the last time. Chris, that's Christmas, I man. Know. That's five months from now. And last time you put a date on it, it we're past work. that date, right? So you might as well just stop. That doesn't sound like a good strategy. I know, cause my Dan keep, every time he calls, he'd be like, Chris, when you going to rehab? There's a lot of pe people that send me emails about different places that you could go, man. I think that we should take a look at some of them and explore that. 
But she keep telling everybody, you gonna get the fuck on if I get the fuck on. What does that have to do with what I just said? She basically saying he's not gonna go if I'm not going. Well, I ain't asking what she's saying, Chris. I'm talking directly to you. Eventually. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I'll go. What if it's too late, man? I'm gonna have to figure another way out. It'll be too late, brother. That'll be it. If something like what happened to Man Man happens to you, that's it. You need to figure it out before that point. I get that, Chris, but here's the thing, right? If you try to do it and you fail, what does that mean? That puts you in the same spot you're in now, right? Versus if you don't try to do it, you're in that same spot anyway. At least try it. You don't have to be 100% ready, man. You'll never be 100% ready. You just need to do things. When I started this channel, you think I was 100% ready? No, I just came out here and started doing it, man. Okay? You gotta just do things. So how much of a commitment can I get from you that that you're gonna be really kind of considering this like in the near future? Like the next time that I see you type deal. And I say, hey, let's let's go. And you say, all right, let's do it. Can't think of no more excuses. Maybe you're out of them, man. All right, Chris, I ain't gonna hold you, man. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you, man, but, you know, situations like this are a reminder of how precious life is. And I think that you don't need to take that for granted.
right, man. All right, Chris. Well, like I say, man, we definitely are rooting for you 100%. Um, we definitely wish them but the best out here, all right? All right, man. Definitely, uh, for team, I know we just talked, but definitely my huge condolences to you. All right? All right, you make sure you have a good one now.